Dear brother and sister, the saints in Christ, welcome to a, a very short talk could be considered as an annex for the previous episode 184. We have an altar. Some of the comments that came in the Arabic actually showed there is some sort of confusion. I would appreciate that, of course, because uh, I should have explained some stuff in more detail of Old Testament, but I wanted like to keep the timing. So excuse me for this. However, from today's like short one you will learn two things how to compare spiritual with the spiritual stuff second thing how do they take one verse out of uh, the context of the paragraph and they cheat you all right so you, you know the tactics all right so you know in the old testament there are five sacrifices or offerings burnt offering grain offering peace offering sin offering and trespasses offering sin offering is what we're going to focus on it comes in leviticus chapter 6 and chapter 16 so let's read this uh, from chapter 6 chapter 6 is sin offering that will be offered for the sin of just one of the normal people of the congregation not the high priest not the whole congregation but just one person I speak to Aaron and, and his son saying this is the law of the sin offering in the place where the burnt offering is killed the sin offering shall be killed before the Lord most important thing the priest who offers it for sin shall eat it shall eat it so sin offering of one of the persons number one done by or offered by a priest number two the priest shall eat it of course if it's too much other priests also can eat from it in the holy place like inside the tabernacle this is number one number two but no sin offering from which any of the blood is brought into the tabernacle actually he meant here the holy of holies i've seen in, in chapter 16 to make atonement in the holy place this is the holy of holies shall be eaten it shall be burned in the fire all right and we'll go in more detail in chapter 16 all right so a, a sin for a, a normal person by the priest the priest will eat from it and any priest can eat from it all right but if a sin offering and the blood of this sin offering is to be taken into the holy of holies then this sin offering you cannot eat no one can eat from it and also must be burned outside the camp and if of course the burnt of uh, this sin offering the blood will go into the holy of holies this means what it must be offered by the high priest because he, he is the only one that is allowed to go into the holy of holies and not in any day only on the atonement day so this will take us to chapter 16 of the same book leviticus and the aaron shall bring aaron that is the high priest shall bring the bull of sin offering which is for himself so on the atonement day two sin offerings the first one is a bull is for the sin of the high priest himself and who is going to offer this again the high priest is the highest one no one can offer it and and make atonement for himself and for his house and shall kill the bull as the sin offering which is for himself then he shall take censer full of burning coal of fire from the altar before the lord with his hands full of sweet incense beaten fine and bring bring it inside the the veil so uh, like inside like now we are in the holy of holies and he shall put the incense on the fire before the lord that the the cloud of incense may cover the mercy seat that is on the testimony like the ark of covenant lest he die he shall take some of the blood of the bull and sprinkle it. So this is the sin offering of what? Of whom? Of the high priest. He will take the blood of the bull and sprinkle it with his finger on the mercy seat on the, on the east side. And before the mercy seat, he shall sprinkle some of the blood with his finger seven times. Then, so this is his own sin. His own, I mean sin offering. It's a bull then he shall kill a goat for the sin offering of the whole people so it looks like the sin offering of the 
uh, high priest is even bigger than the sin of the whole congregation. Anyway, but this is not the focus. Now, the second sin offering is for the whole congregation. Then he shall kill the goat of the sin offering, which is for the people, the whole people for the previous year. Brings its bring its blood inside the veil. So if the blood of the sin offering is inside the veil, no one can eat from it. Do with the blood as he did with the blood of the bull and sprinkle it on the mercy seat and before the mercy seat. The bull, listen to this, the, so they will not eat from it, right? And what else? The bull for the sin offering and the goat, which is for the a sin offering for the people whose blood was brought in to make atonement in the holy place shall be carried outside the camp and they shall burn in the fire their skin, their flesh and their offal. So what happens now? I was just read this the sin offering whose the whose or we, we whose blood is entered into the Holy of Holies, you cannot eat from it. This is number one. Number two, must be taken out the camp and burn it outside the camp. In fact, this was what? The exact copy of that Jesus carried the sins of the whole world and was crucified outside the camp, outside Jerusalem. All right? Now, so now we remember two things, eat outside the camp, like not to eat and outside the camp. Keep those two in your mind. Now I read part from the uh, Levitio, sorry, from Hebrews chapter 10. And I want you also to remember one word from it. It's talking about Abraham, right? Abraham, by faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to the place which he would receive received as an inheritance and he went out not knowing where he was going by faith he dwelt in the land of the promise as in a foreign country dwelling in tents with isaac and jacob the heirs with him of the same promise for he waited for the city which has foundations whose builder and maker is god so keep in mind the word waiting for the city even the word the city so keep in mind not to eat outside the camp the city like having the city all right so now we come now to the paragraph of uh, uh hebrews 13. so let's watch again how uh Higumen, father the Lame took the verse out of its context to learn the tactics of those who are cheating you. All right, and come back again. The verse is the same, guys. Why? Because it's different with me in the process that we're in with the government that we're in with. The verse is the same, the verse of the Abraham 13. He says, We don't want to be a man. We don't want to be a man. Who is the man? The Jews or the Messiahs? وفي رسالة بعدها لليهود هو ماله اليهود حتى لو رسالة العبرانيين هو بيكلم عن العبرانيين اللي صاروا مسيحيين ودي واضحة جدا طول الرسالة فبيقول لنا مذبح احنا لينا مذبحنا وأثبت لكم ان الكلام ما ينفعش لليهود يقول لا سلطان للذين يخدمون المسكن ما هو المسكن ايه هو المسكن المسكن هو هيكل سليمان او هو خيمة الاجتماع ده تعبير قديم موجود عشرات المرات كلمة المسكن يعني مسكن الله ممثل في خيمة الاجتماع اللي تحولت الى هيكل سليمان من هم الذين يخدمون المسكن اليهود عموما اليهود لا سلطان للذين ما زالوا يخدمون المسكن ان يأكلوا منه خلي بالك يبقى احنا عندنا مذبح وبيتاكل منه في امراء اكتر من كده عشان بيقولوا لنا المذبح ده اختراع ابط اختراع ابط ازاي ده في العالم القديم كله تروح روما تروح مصر القديمه تلاقي مذابح قبل ما يكون في بروستانت وقبل ما يكون في كاثوليك المذابح دي كانت اختراع دي قديمه هو في كنيسه قديمه ما فيهاش مذبح كنائس الجديده اللي ما فيهاش مذبح 
لأنها تخلت عن الإيمان إذا الآية دي لوحدها تعتبر مرجع لوجود المذبح في الكنيسة وضرورة وجود المذبح ومذبح يؤكل منه خلي بالكم لألا يقول لك مذبح مقصود به أنت مذبح خلي بالكم ما الفكرة إيه البروستانتي يقول كده أنت هيكل أنت مذبح هكلك إزاي يعني إيه اللي يؤكل منه ده So what happened he took one verse now in the light of what I explained from Le- Leviticus 6 16 and the Hebrews 11 the three words you remember them right for the sin offering that the blood go its blood goes into the holy of holies what happens no eat must be burned outside the camp and for Abraham for his faith he was waiting for the city let's read this you will find those three elements in this paragraph now we will know what we're talking about so we have an altar good first of all before I go deeper he he mentioned the word Lamai mentioned uh, uh, St. Paul was not writing to the Jews who was writing to Christians no he was writing to messianic Jews when a Jew accepted Jesus as a savior he does not become a Christian he becomes a, as whatever they call themselves messianic Jews and you have plenty of them now around the whole world so let's now read the paragraph you now will know and you will know the the, the proper thing I just to quickly remind you the blood the sin offering which its blood goes into the holy of holies no eat must go burn it outside the camp all right and remember the word city as well let's now read it together we have an altar from which those who serve tabernacle have no right to eat uh, which one not to eat so yes we have an altar from which those who serve the tabernacle with the, uh, yeah, the jewish uh, priests have no right to eat which ones that they don't have right to eat the sin offering which its blood is taken into the holy of holies which actually was the i would say the typo of jesus as the sin sacrifice of the whole congregation whose blood went into the holy of holies in heaven and he was taken outside the camp let me we read this again we have an altar from which those who serve with heaven echo have no right to eat so which one that they they have no right to eat the sin offering that whose blood goes into the holy of holies next for the bodies of those animals yes which animals the animals that their blood taken into the holy of holies whose blood brought into sanctuary this is the holy of holies by the high priest for sin are burned outside the camp so here we go so the so this means the paragraph is talking about what what the sin offering of the whole congregation its blood goes in nobody can eat from it and by the way nobody can from it cannot from it this means what you cannot say this is a sacrifice of jesus and wait from it but this is something you can think about it for your own but let's focus so therefore now he would put the application now he will put the application like he put the introduction then the application again we have an altar from which those who serve the tabernacle have no right to eat for do, for the bodies of those animals whose blood is brought into the sanctuary by the high priest for sin are burned outside the camp so no one to eat no and also must be out the camp therefore now he, now so it continues the, the context therefore jesus also ah who is jesus the sin offering for the whole congregation therefore jesus also that he might sanctify the people with his own blood suffered outside the gate here we go therefore let us go forth to him like to suffer to go outside the camp because Jews until today I was listening to some uh, testimonies today they get totally cut from their own families from the whole community excommunicated from the synagogue and by the way stripped from their inheritance therefore let us go forth to him outside the camp bearing his reproach like carry the cross and you remember the last word I said bear in mind the name city because uh, Abraham was also kicked out uh, like he left his family he left his whatever and suffered because he followed the Lord but was looking to the city okay reproach for here we have no continuing city but we seek 
the one to come again like uh, like Father Abraham is waiting for, was waiting for this one. Is it now very clear? So the whole paragraph was talking about what? About the sin offering that whose blood uh, that its blood goes uh, is taken into the holy of holies by the high priest. No one can eat from it. Should be like burn it outside the camp. This would happen. Jesus was crucified out the city, out Jerusalem. Makes sense. I hope this will make it clear to you. And also bear in mind that this offering, sin offering, no one to eat from it. So don't tell me, ah. Uh, we have the mass and with the sins of people in Jesus and this way it is uh, we eat from it and all that stuff anyway if you think it worth it a like give it a like share it on your social media please if you can and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't and unless the Lord comes we'll meet again in another episode may the Lord bless you all